So the last few summer slides are uh, first of all the one they tell with the HPP, which stands for Human Brain Project. We uh, the Human Brain Project prepared a service that was based on one data as well as the cache equal to comparative services. And in this project, they set up their uh, Atlas Viewer application, which is an HTML with JavaScript that shows uh, brain sections. The Atlas Viewer fetch data from the Image Viewer application. Image Viewer is a service that reads data from storage and exposes it on a REST interface. So Atlas Viewer fetches data through request to a REST interface provided by Image Viewer. So the Image Viewer had one client mounted inside of the container, and the one client the one client interface with one provider and fetch data from the HPP scans space, which had five terabytes of support. The file uh, with the brain scans had about five terabytes of size. Uh, we also set up an Nginx uh, server to load, to load balance the REST request from the Atlas Viewer to the Image Viewer. So we actually had the five Image Viewer containers that were serving data to REST to the Atlas Viewer, which was making a big amount of requests because for, uh, every part of the image uh, was rendered with a separate request for data. And we measured the performance of this setup with five uh, image viewer client, image viewer containers with one client <coughs> mounted. Uh, the one client was mounted over uh, a parallel file system, which the name of which I don't recall, but it it was very performant. And this is the result of the measurement. At the peak point, uh, the five containers reached. Uh, 56 gigabits of almost 57 gigabits of throughput. This is possible because um, one client has a feature where it can directly connect to the storage. It can auto detect that the storage used by one provider is available on the current machine and talk with the storage directly instead of proxying the request to one provider. And then we get results like this, which are it's a, it's a relatively common use case in, uh, in clouds that we can have the storage mounted uh, on our client machines as well. And in this case, one data is used for metadata management and providing a structure and other features such as REST and other things. And for the plans for the near future, we are integrating with Open Data Platform. The basic use case that we envision for One Data would be that you would create your space, put your data that you want to publish there, then create a snapshot. So you take your space with files and you create a snapshot. You can then modify your space and create another snapshot. <coughs> and uh, only differences between the snapshots would be stored. Then the collection can be published with a DOI by a service that assigns DOIs and put in public services for data discovery like, for example, data set. A user can discover the, the data through DOIs and access them under permanent link. The user can also mount the data <coughs> that he was given open access to with the use of one client. And the user can also fork the DOI and the, DO the data under the DOI. And uh, the data will then be lazily replicated, which means a mixture of copy on write 
and uh, scheduling reputation for a later date. And that's it for the plans for the near future, except all the features that we discussed previously. <laughs> uh, now is the time for a hands-on demo because we are skipping the hands-on demo. Here is the URL to our hip chat room with guest access enabled, where um, where you can when you log in onto the uh, one zone that is set up for Indigo, which the link of which we will provide in a moment. Uh, you can then send us uh, support requests in this room, and we may we will support your spaces so you can play with one, one data, maybe uh, invite each other into groups through the hip chat room and see how it works for yourself. The URL of the one zone is one data indigo dash data I will put it on the display in a So, yes, summarizing, we have uh, one data uh, provide, provides access to distributed multi provide storage, multi provider, multi data center, and multi federation storage for the user. Uh, it has flexible access control lists. It can, you can share data between federations. We have the POSIX client, we have various other interfaces available right now and with more features coming, of course, and uh, interfaces in the works like WebDAV and FTP. It is scalable. And as we've seen in the HPP demo, it can be, one client can be deployed in use cases where you can enjoy it benefits of one data with, with very little overhead on the file system below. We have support for open data scenarios in progress and uh, we are currently developing one data under Pilot GTI and Gage in, in the cloud, data cloud. <coughs> and that will conclude the presentation. Let me just put the link to our one zone on the screen. To set up a one zone for test is complex or set up a one zone with one provider and so on. Well, is it com a complex procedure or no, is it no, easy to do for You can set it up on your, on your laptop in about three minutes. The, the same uh, environment. Everything. One yes. zone plus one or two provider yes. and one laptop. Yes. It's possible. Yes, I can see that. Okay. okay. There I'll show you how. Fantastic. But if you want to show it, so here's the link for the one zone. <coughs> where you can create, log in, create your spaces, give us your uh, space support token, we will support your space, and you can hack up. So, thank you, that's all the class. Thank you very much for you.